let's look at the last set each of the bottles mentioned in this question contains 50 milliliter of liquid the liquid in any bottle can be 100% pure content p or can have a certain amount of impurity i visually it is not possible to distinguish between p and i there is a testing device which detects impurity as long as percentage of impurity in the content tested is 10% or more so basically what they're saying is if purity falls below 90 or is is false to 90 or below 90 then the machine will tell you okay there is impurity involved if the purity is above 90 the machine doesn't really work okay with that in mind let's also read through the example that they've uh, explained for example suppose bottle one contains only p and bottle two contains 80 percent p and 20 percent i 20% pure, pure item and 20% sorry 80% pure item and 20% impurity if content from bottle 1 is tested it will be found that it contains only p if content of bottle 2 is tested the test will reveal that it contains some amount of impurity how much we don't know but some amount of impurity okay if 10 10 milliliter of content from bottle 1 is mixed with 20 milliliter content of bottle 2 the test will show that the mixture has impurity because the average, can you see the average, what would happen? 100 and 100 ki purity and 80 ki purity. If we are mixing them in the ratio one unit and two units, the gap between them will get distributed and we'll have, sorry, closer to this. 93 ni. You will reach 86.66 as average. This gap will be 6.66. This gap will be 13.33 because this has a higher weight. But on the other hand, if we took 10 milliliter from uh, 10 milliliter from the first and 80 milliliter from the second, this is two units now, 100%. And this is 80% purity has just one weight. Then we will reach the purity of 93.33. We will just have 93.33. And then this will say some impurity is present. This will say some impurity is not present. Basic average based working. Okay. Let's get to individual questions, whatever is mentioned. 5 milliliter of content from bottle A is mixed with 5 milliliter content from bottle B. The resultant mixture, when tested, detects the presence of impurity. If it is known that bottle A contains only P, which means bottle A is entirely pure. What is What best can be concluded about the volume of impurity in bottle B? Now see, this is such a wonderful question, and especially if you have logic. Can I say if bottle B was entirely impurity, bottle B was entirely I, then my, our test would return the result, there is I present. If bottle A was entire thing was purity and bottle B was entire thing was impurity, our test would return the result that it is there is impurity involved in the mixture, which is the only option that allows for you to have entire bottle B as impure. It is option C. So answer should be option C. That is it. That is all the working that this question needed. But in case you want to get to that precise 10 milliliter mark, see what is happening. I have 5 milliliter content from bottle A and 5 milliliter content from bottle B. A had a purity of 100%. B had bottle B, what purity it had, we don't know. X percent. We know, we know that if the average had been 90%, if the average had been 90%, only then does my only then does the device tell us that there is some impurity. This is the extreme situation because both of them have equal weight, 5 ml and 5 ml. For 100 and X to have an average of 90, when both of them have equal weight, X has to be 80%. Now 80%, the quantity in the bottle was 50 ml. So 80% would be 
फोर्टी एम एल बींग पी एंड टेन एम एल बींग आई नाउ दिस इज द एक्सट्रीम कंडीशन दिस इज द एक्सट्रीम कंडीशन फॉर एनी अदर नंबर इज वेल दिस नाइंटी ऑप्टेनिंग हियर this was the extreme condition checking we could very well have got in 89 or 89.5 or any other number which means 10 ml being impurity is the minimum impurity that you need in bottle b beyond this any other quantity of impurity would be okay the answer to the question is 10 ml or more moving on next question there are four bottles Each bottle is known to contain only P or only I. So either you are hundred percent pure or you are hundred percent impure. They will be considered to be collectively ready for dispatch if all of them contain only P. In minimum, how many tests is it possible to ascertain whether these four bottles are collectively ready for dispatch? Wonderful thing. See. for us to make a judgment about whether all these bottles are collectively ready for dispatch all i need to check is 100% purity ka bottle 1 agar hua aur 100% purity ka bottle 2 hua aur 100% purity ka bottle 3 hua aur 100% purity ka bottle 4 hua only in this case only in this case when i test it if all of them were 100% pure will the device that i'm using say yes no impurity found if all of them were pure only then will my device give me the result no impurity found even if one of them were impure even if one of them were impure the average purity for the entire mixture would be 75% now and my device would result uh, return the result impurity found so how many tests do i actually need to conduct just one test just one test i'll take equal quantities from all four vessels if i get the result if i get the result that yes no purity was found then they are ready for dispatch if i get the result some impurity found then i know they are not ready for dispatch just one test needs to be conducted pay attention the question did not ask me how many bottles have impurity or which bottles have impurity that was not the objective far too many people go down the path of trying to identify which bottle has impurity and which bottle doesn't have impurity that was never the question the question was generally can you reach the answer between yes and no in one test you can reach the answer yes or no so answer to this question is of course one next one now there are four bottles if it is known that three of these bottles contain only p while the remaining one contains 80% p and 20% i what is the minimum number of tests required to definitely identify the bottle containing some amount of i we have to identify that bottle which has impurity okay how do we go about doing it let's say there were bottles a b c and d there were four bottles a b c d first i will check a and b first i will check a and b and there are two possibilities it will either say purity okay or it will say purity not okay if it says purity okay what would that mean it would mean a is 100% pure and b is 100% pure if it says purity is okay it would mean a is 100% pure and b is 100% pure so my next test is going to be a and c again i will have two possible outcomes purity okay or purity not okay 
if i get purity okay it means a and c are great a and b were already great a and c are already great it means d is the one that is impure in case here i got purity not okay in case i got purity not okay it means a was already okay c is not okay in this case c is the impure one at the end of two tests in this path at the end of two tests i am able to identify which is the impure bottle now going down this path purity not okay it gives me one of these two conditions either a is okay b is not okay or a is not okay b is okay regardless of what outcome you get in the next round i am doing this a plus c a plus c again now see when i am saying a is okay b is okay i am effectively saying between c and d one of them is not okay between c and d one of them is not okay one of them is impure but in the second case if a is okay b is not okay or if a is not okay b is okay am i also saying d is pure and c is pure d is pure and c is pure so from here i can get two outcomes purity okay purity not okay remember purity okay would mean a is great and c is also great which would mean the bottle that that had impurity was b in this case purity not okay we know that c is definitely pure so if purity is not okay right now the bottle that had the impurity is a but regardless of which path you take regardless of which path you take can you appreciate at the end of two tests this is test 1 and this here is test 2 you are definitely in a position to identify which bottle is the impure one so what is the minimum number of tests required to definitely identify the bottle containing some amount of i the answer to the question is 2 now i've gone ahead and done it in a branching out tree flow charty form because i wanted to explain it well but hopefully you realize this is like one of the basest puzzles that people can do uh, especially liar puzzles or dependent statement binary outcomes this is a very very straightforward question it doesn't require you to write as much this is simply for the explanation purpose okay next one now there are four bottles if it is known that either one or two of these bottles contains only p while the remaining ones contain 85% p and 15% i what is the minimum number of tests required to ascertain the exact number of bottles containing only p see this wonderful thing either we will have this situation two bottles being pure and two bottles being impure or we will have this situation three bottles being pure and the fourth bottle being impure one bottle remember they are not asking me to identify which bottle is impure they are simply asking me to identify exact number of bottles that are pure and impure if i were to take out the average here i will get how much Mm. How much will the average be here? Two hundred plus one seventy, three seventy. Oopsie. There are four bottles. It is known that either one or two of these bottles contain only P. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. I have written it so wrongly. One minute. either have this or have this yes this is fine either one is pure or i or two are pure the average here will turn out to be 
85, 85, 85, and 100. The average will turn out to be how much? 85, 85, 85 is 255. 255 plus 100 is 355. 355 divided by uh, 4 is 88 point something. 88.75. Yes. The average here is 88.75. In which case, the machine returns impurity found. In this case, the average turns out to be 92.5. When the machine will return, no impurity found. Can you see, regardless of what case it is, at the end of exactly one test, you are in a position to tell me how many pure bottles were there within consideration out of the four. So what is the minimum number of tests required to ascertain the exact number of bottles containing only P? Answer is option D, one. And that is the entirety of this set.